Hey, this is Doug Doug, where we solve problems that no one has. One of the most fun things in GTA 5 is driving down the top of Mount Chiliad, since it requires this very precise driving not to just, you know, fall off a cliff and blow up. So I wondered, could you drive down all of Mount Chiliad using only voice commands? Just like before, I used a voice program which turns my words into game commands. So in this case, we set OSHA to drive the car forward because it's very safe, Reggie from Nintendo to turn right, and Leggy from Nintendo to move left. Now the goal here here is to drive from the very top of the mountain down into the ocean at the bottom without blowing up. And I don't actually think this will be very hard, so let's turn up the difficulty a bit by adding a 5-star police wanted level and also using a mod which causes hundreds of airplanes to crash all over the mountain. This way, we have to move at a fast pace the entire time and we can't just take it slow. And now, we're all set to begin. OSHA now first, we tried this challenge with a bus, which is actually incredibly easy, since the bus is so large that it can just sort of roll down the mountain without getting too hurt. You do not have to be very precise here. OSHA. Reggie. Reg. Uh... This is fine. Yes, yes. Okay, we just get through these cops. We just get through these cops. We just get through these cops. Almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there. Almost there, almost there. The bus is on fire. And boom! We're fucking in there! And with that, bus is done. Next up is a normal car. OSHA. Reggie? No, no, excuse me. This is fine. This is nice. This is nice. <laughs> okay. Cars are a little bit harder. This is going extremely well. Reggie. No! Now this did take a bit of experimentation, but a smaller car like this is incredibly sturdy and can just sort of bounce down the hill and then slide smoothly into the ocean. Oh, here we go. This is looking promising. It's like a little turtle. You can't you can't destroy it. Right? Or Reggie. Leggy. Red. Oh god! Oh god! Leggy! 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 Go on fire! Go! 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 <laughs> so yes, it is definitely possible to drive down a mountain with voice commands, but now it's time for the real part of this challenge, driving down the mountain on a motorcycle. You get knocked off motorcycles incredibly easily in this game, so we're gonna have to be very precise here. We're gonna have to play like some sort of motorcycle Jedi to dodge the cliffs and pull this off. But I'm warmed up from the bus, I'm ready to play the best GTA 5 of my life. OSHA. Easy. Easy stuff. Leggy. It's embarrassing how easy this is. Look at this. Never mind, this is hard as shit. The motorcycle is so light that it will easily pop way up into the air if you hit any small hill or rock. And unlike a vehicle, you die from almost every single jump on a motorcycle. I don't even think a Jedi could do this. I'm liking how this is. It's looking good. God damn. Perfect moped position. Guys? Well, okay, if we can't survive those cliffs on a motorcycle, then maybe we just need to follow along that hiking trail. That's crazy. Just crazy enough to work. Leggy? Beautiful. Less beautiful. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine! This is not fine! All right, the hiking trail doesn't actually do much. It's still just as dangerous if you go farther down the path. But maybe we just need to take a different path down the mountain altogether. Reggie. 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 
So no, the other paths are actually more dangerous. This initial path is still safest because it has a lot of these sloping hills near the bottom, not just huge drop-offs. But maybe the problem here, it's not the bike or the path. Maybe this is just a mental performance problem. Master Yoda once said to the Jedi, cowards are those who follow the dark side. Beating a challenge this precise requires losing cowardice and having total mental confidence. Reggie? You guys weren't confident enough. We need more confidence. Confidence, 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 confidence. God. Okay, I'm not accelerating anymore. I really need confidence right now. Go, go, go. Confidence, confidence. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, maybe Master Yoda meant we should literally add a confidence command. Confidence to stop. Yeah, I like that. Now we're a true Jedi. Confidence. Oh. Pledgy. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Work. Shit. Dude. <laughs> then we're in great shape. Things are good. Maybe we have enough confidence. <laughs> this challenge is insanely hard. If you go fast down the mountain at all, you'll just fly into the air and then almost always die from gravity. But if you take it extremely slow, all of those planes I added will just kill you. So we need a way to keep moving fast, but not automatically die from any jump. And I think it's time we remember Master Yoda's advice. If no mistake have you made, yet losing you are, a different game you should play. We have to tweak the rules of the game itself to make this challenge work. So after some debate, we decided to add a jump command to the motorcycle. This allows us to jump the bike upwards, kind of like using the force. And we can use this mid-air to slow our downward momentum, and it means we can actually survive some of those huge jumps in the air. And now all we need is a name for this new jump command. Okay, what do we need a word for jump? I already used Askum in a previous one. Falcon bike, boing, nart, poob? <laughs> poob? <laughs> what? <laughs> What is the word poob from? Okay, there's a lot of enthusiasm for poob for whatever reason. Why poob? What am I missing here? I did not know what poob meant, but according to Google, poob is actually a one-time character from an episode of the obscure 1986 Star Wars cartoon show Ewoks, I guess. We thirst for poob. <laughs> you think they have poob on YouTube? Orville's Hut of Horrors. <laughs> okay. Um, we can find poob. Oh, oh wait, here's the Hut of Horrors. Incredible. Boom! Boom, ladies and gentlemen. Just, a bit, just incredible. Let's see that one more time. Boom! Boom, ladies oh. I'm adding a command called Poob. Poob. Just incredible. Incredible. And now Poob was ready. Poob? 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 Poob's feeling good. Poob's feeling good. Poob is already helping a ton. Now we don't instantly die off of cliffs, but it'd work even better if we have a command that jumps multiple times in a row. So let's add a new command that will string multiple jumps together. Poob hole is five jumps. Yeah, I guess we could try that. Add a command called poob hole. Poob hole. Poob hole. Poob hole. Oh no, I poob hole too early. I'm out of poop. I have no more boobs. If we land this though, we win. This one's for you, poop. Do you say ploob? I did not say ploob. Or are you talking about Horville from Horville's Hut of Horrors from Ewoks, the 1985 TV show? A hideous No, it's pretty clearly poob. There's no L there. Quick side note here. At one point, somebody in the chat said that he's not actually saying poob, he's saying Ploob. All jokes aside, it is clearly poob. Anyways. Poob hole. Damn it! Poob. 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 Oh. No! Let's watch some more of that video. Maybe poob and ploob are different. He did not say ploob. Sad plot curdly ploob. He literally says poob. You can hear the, the P sound. There's no L. That sounds like poob. That's poob. We're a little off track here. Let's, let's go do this GTA challenge. Damn it! Poob hole. Poob. Poob. God. Confidence. Reggie. 
No! It's Ploob from Listening Closely, but the Wikipedia page says Poob. It's in the, the Wikipedia article. Was a monster employed at Horville's Hut of Horrors? Wait, no, 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 this is fine, this is fine. Oh wait, it says Ploob, what the fuck? You guys, you guys fucking, you did this. You can't go change the fucking Wikipedia. It said Poob. Poob hole. Oh, God damn it, you guys are fucking asshole. Poob deserved better than this. Poob was having a perfectly good day before we came in here. He fucked his shit up. Messing up Poob's legacy. No! Poob hole. Damn. It's so clearly Poob. Orville's Hut of Horrors. Okay, Paul Dini is the writer. Okay, he, he wrote Orville's Hut of Horrors. Okay, even though he's clearly saying Poob, this argument had literally been going on for hours, and we knew that the only way to truly and definitively know whether this character is named Poob or Ploob was to ask the man who actually wrote that episode of Star Wars Ewoks in 1986, Paul Dini, legendary television writer. This is definitely the guy, he's legit. So we asked Paul Dini on Twitter to confirm it's actually Poob, and now in the meantime, let's please get back to this challenge. This guy's gonna be so confused. He's gonna be like, wow, are people really arguing about this? Is this actually a big deal to people? Maybe I should check the comments of the YouTube video. And then he's gonna come in here and everybody's just fucking arguing about poop. Reggie. Poop hole. Poop hole. God damn it, I said poop hole. The air coming from his pee, it's creating sub sibilance that makes it sound like there's another letter there, but there isn't. Not cuddly poo. It's definitely poop, dude. Poop hole? Poop hole? Poo. I think you guys are hearing him going and then the mic quality is bad, so it spikes up and sounds like an L, but he's clearly fucking saying poop. Osha. Reggie? Reggie? No! But then, the unthinkable happened. We checked Twitter, and Paul Dini, legendary television writer, had replied to our tweet. He didn't ask why we wanted to know. He didn't give any extra information. He just said one word. Plube. After... Literally three hours of non-stop arguing, the writer of Star Wars Ewoks confirmed the horrible truth. It's Ploob. In one tweet, Paul Dini had executed Order 66 and murdered the noble Poob Jedi who had maintained this Wikipedia for years. The Poob Wikipedia page was updated to Ploob, and us loyal Poobists were scattered to the wind, all because Darth Dini had won. <laughs> Or had he? Sure, Paul Dini says it's Ploob, but nobody can deny that the community and Wikipedia page thought it was Ploob up until this point. And the English language isn't defined by one person, it's defined by how the community uses the language. If we look at Merriam-Webster's rules for how a word is added into the dictionary, they clearly state the answer is simple, usage. And they reject a word if its citations all come from a single source. Cough, cough, Paul. In fact, the entire study of descriptive linguistics defines language by how it's used without the bias of preconceived ideas of how it ought to be, Paul Dini. If the people used Poob for the last 39 years and usage determines language, then shouldn't the people have the final say on which word is correct? Yes, they should. So I did the only thing I could. I organized a full public trial on Twitch with over 500 witnesses and selected nine random jury members from the public who will evaluate the evidence presented and objectively determine once and for all, is it Poob or Ploob? Poob court is now in session. The Poob legal team will present their evidence. Evidence number one, lower pitch of Poob versus higher pitch of Poob. <laughs> Oral masking occurs when a sudden stimulus sound makes inaudible other sounds Strip which are descriptive linguistics. Case. Blue Smell. is pre plube revolution. Six. Example of audio pareidolia. My proposal is that the original sound is poob, but with an L sound so that the ing sound during Orville's blood curling was delayed to be in between B and O, thus creating an L sound. Us Americans don't like how the British use their T, so we changed it to better suit us. Oh yeah, and we beat that voice command challenge. Slow show? Osha? Osha? Poop hole. 
Osha? Oh my god. 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 It took five hours and it fucking happened. <laughs> Great job, nobody cares. Anyways, now the blue lawyers presented their case. Proper nouns such as name cannot be changed by common usage blue. of another noun. The misspelling of blue may, may be considered by his a sobriquet. A litigious plaintiff who brought this case to court, Douglas Regal Schlott, the director of the Ewoks, has declined to comment. Poob, which is a pube covered in poo. Both teams of lawyers have presented their arguments, and now it was all up to the nine jury members to decide. A simple majority vote from the public to end this once and for all. Five votes will determine the future of the English language. Our first juror, Sierra S11. One vote for Plube. Vic Gaming. 2-0 for Plube. Creeplosion. What is your verdict? It is Plube. Doom Mustard. What is your verdict? Plube. Well, we've been down before, but that's not gonna stop us. So now I ask you, a lonely boy, the final jury member, one more vote for Plume and it's over. What is your verdict? In a shocking, unanimous decision, all nine jury members voted Plume. So officially, in the 1986 episode of Star Wars Ewoks, the character's name is Plube. A hideous and ugly Plube. I may not like the decision. I may still believe it's Plube, but God damn it, I love democracy. And at least the people were the ones to make the decision, not just one man. And now my fellow Poob loyalists and I will take our leave and admit defeat. At least until my White House petition to legally change the name to Poob gets 100,000 signatures. You may have won this round, Paul Dini, but I'll be back in Episode 2, Return of the Poob.